Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about how to look stylish in your outfits. Now, if you have seen my previous videos, I've talked about how to look good in every outfit. So those are related to more formulas and tips and tricks. Now today I'll be discussing more about how to look put together and stylish. Over the years, I have played around a lot with outfits and learned few things here and there, which makes your outfit look stylish. And I really wanted to share with you guys uh, all the different things which I follow to look stylish. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, mixing masculine pieces with feminine pieces. Now, this I have tried so many times and I can guarantee you it looks stylish. Now, why it looks stylish? The main reason is the factor of unknown or unusual. Most people would probably wear like a feminine blouse with a feminine skirt or something like that. And that's like very usual and expected. But when you mix a masculine thing with a feminine thing, it is something unusual and it just draws attention and makes you quickly stylish and just unique. Now let me show you a few examples to explain what I mean by mixing these things. So in this first outfit, I'm wearing a satin skirt. So satin skirt itself is a very feminine outfit. It's a flowy, girly skirt. I'm going to be pairing this satin skirt with a boxy, oversized button-down shirt. So that would be the masculine part of the outfit and instantly you can see the combination is very quirky and very stylish. I'm going to add a belt around the waist and that again gives a nice stylish look and I'll end up wearing sneakers instead of uh, wearing flats or heels or something. Again, adding some masculine component into the outfit. So overall, there is a little bit of feminine side to the outfit, which is the satin skirt. But the eye-catching part would be the masculine shirt on top and those sneakers and the combination of all those makes the outfit very stylish and unique. Now the second outfit would be a fitted black body contrast. Now this is a feminine outfit. It accentuates your curves and it's definitely very girly. Now we're going to add some masculine part to the outfit. So I'm going to add a button down blue shirt. So I'm going to just roll up my sleeves and make it a bit more masculine. And I'm going to end up uh, wearing some chunky sneakers. Again, adding that masculine component. So it's going to balance out. And overall, if you look at the outfit, it looks way more stylish and unique and definitely stands you out. Here, I'm again wearing this mini skirt, which is really girly and feminine and adding a boxy shirt. You can also add like a boxy cropped t-shirt, like oversized t-shirt as well. That will also look very cute and trendy. And you can add like, instead of wearing uh, like heels or sandals, try wearing sneakers and it's gonna uh, automatically make the whole outfit very comfortable for you and also very stylish another example would be if you wear your fitted jeans like straight fit denim or mom jeans or even skinny jeans try wearing it with a button-down shirt tucked in and roll up your sleeves it's gonna look amazing and it's gonna do the exact same thing it is mixing that feminine fitted denim with that boxy masculine shirt to make it more stylish number two is wearing monochromatic outfits so when you are in doubt and you are in a rush definitely opt for monochromatic outfit it always looks stylish and put together and it's like a quick way to get ready and look good now monochromatic outfits would be uh, having a same color top and bottom and it could be from the same family as well so here i have paired like a black shirt with wide leg pants added this beautiful belt and kept it very simple but because it's all black outfit it looks so stylish and so chic and you cannot go wrong with this instead of the pants if you want to swap it with your black denim that also will be a very good option you can add a nice black t shirt tucked into your denim or you can also go for a nice button down shirt tucked into your denim and that will also look really trendy in this outfit i'm wearing dark brown pants and i have paired a beige uh, top with it so you can see it's not the same color but it's in the same family of colors and it still looks very put together and still i would say it's a monochromatic look so you can try that as well so uh, colors like brown and beige will go really well together in the monochromatic family if you want to try black with gray that also will look really cute if you don't have the same color palette in the top and the bottom you can also try a uh, one solid color dress and that i would consider as a monochromatic look and it's very easy and effortless in this example i have worn a nice a pastel green dress and it is just that one color and looks really clean and very stylish you just add your uh, sandals or a nice bag and you're good to go number three 
wearing structured outfits so when i talk about structured it's the opposite of wearing very flowy or maybe very girly or dressy um outfits so structured outfits or pieces would be something like a blazer um like a boxy shirt or boxy t-shirt oversized boxy t-shirts uh, well-fitted pants wide leg pants straight leg pants so these are very like structured pieces so when you wear a structured piece it itself gives a very stylish a kind of look in this example i'm wearing a boxy button down shirt and i have paired it with the nice structured uh, wide leg pants you can also swap it with nice straight leg jeans as well that will also give you a nice structured look another example of a structured outfit is wearing a simple t-shirt and denim but just adding a nice oversized blazer and some nice uh, chunky loafers so that gives a very structured uh, outfit it has also a little bit of that masculine and feminine kind of mixture uh, but overall because it's not very flowy and girly it looks really nice and structured and very stylish another example here i'm wearing a denim skirt and again it's a very like structured denim skirt and i'm adding a nice t-shirt with it and it's around it's not very like fitted it's boxy so again an overall outfit would be like structured and that's why it looks very stylish number four dress up your basics now until now whatever outfits i have shown i think most of them i think all of them are my basics my go-to basics and i just keep mixing and matching them to create my outfits and i have learned that 80 percent of my wardrobe is full of basics and maybe 10 percent is dresses and the rest 10 would be some trendy pieces here and there so definitely my go-to is using those basics and making a great and stylish outfit out of it so don't ignore your basics and don't take them for granted you can easily style up your simple white t-shirt and denim just adding some nice accessories maybe nice bag maybe add a beautiful pair of heels you love you can add a pop of color by adding a nice pop of color in the back or heels there are so many ways of elevating these basic simple outfits for example here i'm wearing this simple tank top with a nice wide leg pants and it straight away elevates my whole outfit fifth one try wearing solid colors I'm not saying that prints and designs don't look good it does look good but if you are someone who knows how to style them and how to mix and match those pieces which could be really tricky then you are good to go with that but for me i always get confused and it takes a lot of time to finalize my whole outfit so i would rather go for solid colors which guaranteed would give me a nice stylish outfit without any hassle so in this example i'm wearing a solid green shirt which is usually out of my comfort zone i usually go for neutral colors uh, but this one i just wanted to show you that it's, it's not important that you have to wear only neutral colors you can play around with any color but if you wear it like this for example adding a pop of color like a solid pop of color with a neutral pant and adding a simple bag and shoes the whole outfit looks very amazing and stylish and it's always easy for me to mix and match all these pieces with each other to create a new outfit here's another example i'm wearing this solid blue shirt with this black denim skirt and it looks really stylish and these are two different solid colors which i always have have in my wardrobe and it will go and blend with each other really well and it does look stylish if you can go for neutrals that would really amp up your game especially if you want to look chic and stylish here i'm wearing this nice beige linen pants which is a nice solid color and also neutral and it goes well with my other tops which are black in color or brown or even beige so there's so many options to play around with if you have your solid neutrals in wardrobe here it looks good with a beige top and i have tried it with a brown shirt as well so it looks really nice and trendy i've also paired it with this green t-shirt still it looks really nice and put together and stylish so yeah do have these solid color bottom wear and tops in your closet so that you can mix and match really well and easily and also it always looks stylish number six is otod and no it's not a misspelled outfit of the day acronym this is an acronym i have created for myself so otod means other than outfit details so there are other things which we need to focus more than just focusing on our outfit and most often than not we feel 
whenever there's an occasion coming or somewhere we have to go we always focus on what we have to wear but we forget about the footwear the hair the makeup the accessories and these little things which just makes or breaks your outfit so these are the things which are really important for me and i always focus on this you need to make sure that you do your hair really well you put on your jewelry your watch bracelet rings and all that and make sure the footwear really goes with your outfit trust me having a good footwear uh, which goes with your outfits just makes your outfits 10 times better and all of these you can mix and match to create a very beautiful outfit even if you are wearing a simple t-shirt and denim if you wear a different kind of accessory a bag or shoe it instantly changes your whole outfit number seven just keep it simple so when in doubt just keep your outfit simple and you're always gonna look stylish and put together and if you haven't noticed yet all my outfits so far were very simple and straightforward and they were all looking very stylish and elegant also when you wear a simple outfit it looks very effortlessly chic because it seems like you haven't put a lot of effort uh, whereas you have actually put an effort in selecting those basic pieces and keeping it simple it just stands out and makes you look very simple stylish and yet elegant and last but not the least wear your confidence and your smile because that's gonna make your outfit 10 times better and more stylish that's all for today's video guys i hope you learned something from this video and it was of great help to you and if you did like the video you know the drill please do like share and subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me and let me know in the comments down below if there's any topic you want me to make a video on and yeah that being said i'll see you in my next one till then bye